Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. So in this video, I am going to discuss a properties of a database and also along with that explanation of a database management system. So in the previous video, uh, we have studied about data, database and what are the different types of databases. Right? In this video also, I am going to give some additional details about the data and the information. So you need to understand what is the difference between a data and the information. So I am going to explain those things uh, along with the additional details related to data. Next I am going to discuss the properties right? and I am going to discuss the explanation of the database management system with an example. So it will be very simple. So please watch the video till the end. So let me start with the explanation. So in the previous video only I have explained what is actually a database. So you know that. So database is a collection of related data. So you have to store the data in the database. But you have to understand what is the difference between a data and the information. You can see here, here this is the data, this is a raw data because it is not conveying any meaning to the user. 1W2S, what is this? It is not giving any meaning. But this is a data. 1 is, the, one is data, W is data, 2 is data and S is a data. But it is not a information. Updates have been applied. Because it is not conveying any information to the user. But here you can see here, my name is Vishesh. This, this is also a data, but it is giving some meaning to the user. That's why it is a information. Getting guys? Not every data is a information, but every information is a data. Right? Understood the difference? Information is different, data is different. Along with that, you need to understand some of the things related to data. Right? So see here, what is the difference between data and information and also knowledge? Very simple. See here, data is the representation of facts or observations. You know that data is nothing but, right? It is a representation of facts or observations. But Whereas information is is nothing but it is going to give a meaning to the user. Understood the difference? Data is a fact, but information is going to give meaning to the user. Right? Knowledge. Knowledge means what? You are going to use your information to achieve some results. Knowledge is going to be nothing but you are going to use that information to achieve the results understood the different guys uh, it's very simple so data is a representation of fa facts you can see here this is a f f it is a fact or a observation but it's not giving any meaning but information is not like that it is also a data but it's giving a meaning that's why it's a information knowledge means what you can use this information to get the result here you can use this information my name is Vishesh what is the result this information is giving the name of a person right so by using this information I can find out the person name is Vishesh so the result is it's giving the result that is knowledge knowledge on the other hand refers to the ability to use the information to achieve the results so I can use this information to achieve the result that I can find out the name of the person Vishesh getting guys and also along with this database means database not only computerized database data can database can be also a manual database database can also be manual database so manual database means what what is the example so manual data means phone directory so phone directory is also a database because it is going to store the phone numbers but it is not compute computerized it is manual also card catalog based system in library library you know that right catalog they maintain a catalog of books right 
that is not computerized right it is also an example for a manual database getting guys if i say a database database can be a manual also database can be computerized also but manual database they were using the database in ancient times nowadays we are using computerized databases right we are going to store the information in the computer now size and complexity if i say a database database sizes can uh, vary databases uh, size can be small it can be medium or it can be large right database sizes can vary for example so simple small database for example uh, person's uh, phone number database if i store a person phone numbers in a computer this is also a database but it's a small database it is a personal database small it is very small but amazon amazon maintains a database that keep tracks of all the products of customers but you can see there the size of the amazon database it will be huge right so size of the database can vary from small to large and also database can be computerized or manual also uh, in the same way data is different information is different if you use the information it will become the knowledge it will give right right if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section now next every database represents some real world aspects so each and every aspect is from mini world or real world one and the same so don't get confused guys so if you consider any database for example university database here university is a real world entity student is a real world entity faculty is a real world entity course is a real world entity each and everything that is related to that university database belongs to the real world only not only university if you consider bank database their bank is a real world property customer is a, is from real world account is a re, it is from real world if you consider movie database movie it is also from real world it is purely related to real world right customer is also related to real world so whatever the database you take whatever the data you are going to store in the database the data is related to real world or mini world one and the same so whatever the changes that takes place in the real world should be reflected in the database don't get confused here suppose if uh, to understand to, to make it understand consider a university database here so in a university database if any student right gets failed in an exam you have to update that information in your database when he is for example when he is in the fifth semester that information will be different when the is he, when he promoted to sixth semester that information will be different so what i'm trying to say is so you have to update the information in the database according to the real world changes getting guys so marks fifth semester marks will be different so once you get promoted from fifth semester to sixth semester you have to change that marks because marks in the real world is changed that's why you have to change that marks that is stored in the database also so that is very important thing that is the first property if the real world concept changes then the database also should change the changes in the real world should reflect in the database also i told you right for example bank if a customer deletes the bank account that information should be updated in the database also if a customer creates a bank account that information when if a new customer creates a bank account that new customer data should be added to the database getting guys earlier he was not a customer in that bank but now but now he is a customer that's why i have to add it, add his information into the database getting guys whatever the changes that takes place in the real world that changes should be reflected in your database hope you understood that right if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section next what is the second property so second property right see here so it is a database is nothing but a logically coherent collection of data that means every database will have some meaning every database data will be related to each other getting guys 
for example student data can be related to faculty I will uh, explain that in detail when I take an example so uh, student data can be related to course getting guys for example if I uh, if I take a bank bank data is related to customer customer data can be related to account so I will show that getting guys that is the second property if you take any database each and every data that is present in the database will have some meaning and each and every data is related to one another that is the second property getting guys the first property is what so whatever the changes that is uh, uh, right that is uh, done in the real world right it needs to be updated in the database also second property whatever the data that is present in the database right that uh, is nothing but a related data only what is the third property so every database will have a purpose so every database will be used by specific set of users so why you need to store your database uh, sorry store your data in the database because you need the data for the future reference who need the data the users of the database need the data so what I'm trying to say is every database will have a specific set of users every database will have a intended group of users that means every database will have the data that is interested right uh, so some of the users are interested for example so bank data definitely it will be accessed by only the bank related persons customer manager like that bank data is not going to be accessed by university data a uh, university people getting guys university database is accessed by only the university related people like a student or a faculty or a vice chancellor like that no bank people is going to access the university related data getting guys only the interested people is going to use that particular database only the specific set of people is going to use that database for example bank database only bank related people university database only university related people getting guys so these are the three main properties of a database whatever the changes that is going to take place in the real world needs to be reflected in the database second uh, every data in the database is related and every data is have some meaning third each and every database is used by some specific set of users some intended group of users right where the people uh, those who are interested in that particular database is going to use that database getting guys next what is the database management system very very important so see here I told you data is stored in the database but how to create the database how to create the database yes you are going to store the data in the database but how to create the database next if you don't want the database how to delete the database if you want to make changes to your database I told you whatever the changes that is uh, going to happen in the real world it needs to be reflected in the database also now how to make the changes so all those things we taken care by database management system so what is the database management system so see here a database management system is a collection of programs in a simple words a database management system is a software what is going to do a database management system software is going to allow the user to create the database and to maintain the database so using the DBMS you can create your database and you can maintain your database maintain in the sense you can delete it you can uh, make changes to your database as you want very simple so DBMS is a software used to create delete and maintain a database right so in detail what are the tasks that can be done by the DBMS software DBMS software see here DBMS software I told you DBMS software is used to create the database definition is nothing but creation of the database how see here definition means specifying the data types right and other constraints to which the data must confirm confront and data organization very simple don't get confused it is in the advanced 
words but in a simple words definition means uh, dbms allows the user to specify what type of data that needs to be stored in the database uh, in this uh, in other words definition means you are going to create the database using the dbms next construction now yes now you know definition means now you know what type of data you are going to store in your database for example definition means bank data means bank related data types for example uh, university means university related data types for example bank means uh, customer information customer name will be stored in the character customer uh, account information will be stored in digit that is number university student uh, name is going to be again stored in character like that what are the data types you are going to use those things you have to specify first once you are having a clarity in data means you can construct your database construct means you need some disk you need some space right construction is nothing but you are going to uh, store your data on some medium construction means you are going to store your data in some medium here first in the first step you created your database now your database is empty you have specified only data types you are now in this first step the, your database is empty but in the second step you are going to construct your database how you are going to construct your database means in a hard disk you are going to store your data in a magnetic disk you are going to uh, store your data in the database that means you created your database understanding guys you are storing the data means what you are creating your database that is construction first you specify the data types now you are going to construct it now what you want to do when you want to do changes so you have to do manipulation so you have to update your database means you can manipulate it if you want to uh, generate the report you can do manipulation yeah whatever the changes you want you can do it understanding guys first create the database now populate the database populate means now store the data in the database once the database is ready you can make whatever the changes you want that is manipulation definition in a simple word definition means creation construction means create uh, once the database is created store the database with the data once the data is stored you can make the changes you want changes as you want that is manipulation now what is sharing if i say a database not only the uh, not only not single user is going to use the database multiple users are allowed to use the database sharing means you have to allow multiple users and program to access the database for example if i create a database once any number of users can access the database for example uh, in a lab you are going to understand in a more better way suppose uh, in a university database consider it as a university database the same database can be accessed by students the same database can be accessed by uh, teachers the same database can be accessed by account related uh, people you can see there only one database that is university database but it can be accessed by students faculties or many people so that is sharing you need to allow the database to be used by many number of users multiple users now when you create the database you have to give the protection just remember guys all these things is taken care by dbms database management system it is going to create it it is going to populate it that means it is going to fill the data it is going to manipulate it is going to support you for manipulation it's allow you for sharing next it is go, it's going to give the system protection also protection means what you have to prevent your database from becoming corrupted suppose if any failures happens you need to avoid that data needs to be protected getting guys data need not be you should uh, data should not be corrupted you should give proper protection right your data need no, uh, should not be right corrupted next what is security protection security protection means only authorized user should access the database only will have the proper username and password should access the database if you if any person uh, suppose he doesn't have any username or a password he can't as a access the database only the proper person should access the database that is security protection so all these tasks all these tasks are taken care by dbms 
so what is that definition means you are going to specify what type of data you are going to store in the database now once the database is created you are going to store that uh, particular type of data in the database that is construction once the data is stored in the database you can do the changes you as you want that is manipulation now database should be allowed to shared by multiple users now protection means you need to prevent the database from becoming corrupted now security means you have to allow only the proper person to access the database so all these things are taken care of by database management system so next i will take a example and uh, you will understand in a more better way and one more important thing so if i say a database system database system is a combination of dbms software and your database don't get confused so if i say a database system database system is a combination of dbms software and a database you know that you need a database to store the data you need a dbms that is database management system to access your database to create your database to delete your database getting guys so database is also needed along with the database dbms software is also needed to access your to, sorry to access your database so together the dbms software and the database together called as database system so together dbms software and uh, database are called as database system very simple i am not going to i am not going to drag this see users programs means you people you are going to access the database using some application programs that means suppose if we consider a google google search engine right so google this is application program when you enter the search uh, term so you can see here the search term will be taken care by dbms software it is going to do some manip uh, what uh, processing once the processing is done uh, the data again will be searched in the database in the same way right so getting guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section now so you know the database to, together with the dbms software is referred as a database system so this is the example of a university database you can see here uh, this university database is in the form of relational database i told you while explaining the different types of databases relational database means the data is stored in the form of tables so you can see here this is the example of the relational database so so this university database contains uh, different different uh, tables i can call this as a table or a relation so relation is also same table is also same so here uh, this uh, database contains course information section information grade report information prerequisite information right so here you can observe that every table will have some columns these columns are nothing but attributes right so we are here you can see here so these columns are nothing but attributes attributes are nothing but attributes uh, is going to define the characteristics of a particular entity here you can see here the attributes of the course are course name course number credit hours department attributes of the section are section identifier course number semester year instructor so like this for example for a person for a person entity the attributes can be a person name person age or a person sex so you can see here so attributes is are nothing but the characteristics of a particular entity it is going to describe some characteristics of a particular entity right so these columns are nothing but attributes and one more important thing so each column will have some values that means each attribute will have some values you can see here so course number will have four values course attribute course number attribute will have four values in the same way all the other attributes will have a, will also have some values you know that right next each attribute will have values and each column is called as what attribute and next here each row each row is nothing but a record or a tuple here you can see here in a course table we have how many records here four records because we have four rows you can see here by seeing the course number i can identify the section so you are uh, getting guys so here these uh, rows are nothing but a records each table will have some records rows are nothing but records are 
tuples and one more important thing here so each table is related to one another I told you what is a database database is nothing but a collection of related data that's why here each table is related to one another for example see student table is going to be related to course and section table you can see here student table uh, sorry here uh, I will take uh, course table here course number so course number is there in the course table also it is there in the prerequisite table course number is there in the prerequisite table you can see course number present in both the tables that's why course and prerequisite table are both related to each other you can see here section uh, identifier attribute section identifier is there in the section table also section identifier is in the grade report also you can see that so here section and grade report are related to each other because section identifier is present in section also section identifier is present in uh, grade report also so that's why database is nothing but a collection of related data you can see here one and the one table is related to another table right now so I told you when you create a database you can manipulate your database that means you can do the changes to your database how to do the changes how to do the changes to the database means by writing the queries queries are nothing but small programs the the uh, queries are nothing but small programs I'm going to write that queries using a structured programming language I'll explain the programming part and also related to and also structured query language in the upcoming videos right so but so far you should know that to make changes to the database to do manipulation to the database I need queries queries are nothing but small programming codes I can write qu uh, queries using the structured query language uh, right so here these are the examples of queries here queries means you can retrieve the information from the database and also in the same way you can make changes to your database here we have some examples for example the first query will be uh, uh, here the code is not there but here these are nothing but the examples of how the queries will look right don't worry about the programming part I will explain in coming videos